Hi everyone, I'm Alan and tonight we're going to do something different. You know what we're going to do, so let's get started. These are the things you'll be needing to produce electricity from seawater. It also works with salt water, so here are some few instruments. Here is a copper wire that's been exposed. I've connected to another copper wire, so it could be a conductive around. And a zinc coated instrument. It could be either a zinc coated spoon, as I'm using, or a nail or a screw would also be fine if, until they're coated with zinc or made of zinc. I've already connected to a wire, a glass to hold the water in, a multimeter. You could also use a small motor or even a bulb, but I want a reading, so I'm using a multimeter tonight. So let's start the experiment by using seawater. As you can see, the current starts to increase. And there may be two types of audience out there. One being keep wondering what's exactly happening into it. So you guys just keep wondering. And the other guys would be like, there should be some leakage current out of the multimeter. So let me try out the experiment by just adding salt water. Now first I'm going to just add regular tap water and you can see the value is in zero. Yeah, again I repeat, just tap water. As soon as I add in salt and mix it, you can see there's a rise in current. And as I add more and more salt, there's a more rise in current. So you may guys be wondering how is this even possible and here is power now to explain that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Now beginning with what exactly happened and how we produced electric current. We know water is made up of ions, mainly sodium ion and chlorine ion. As the copper and zinc electrode comes in contact with the ions, chlorine goes towards the zinc electrode and gives its extra electron. And this electron travels to the wire, which moves towards the copper electrode and reaches the water again. Now it's combined with sodium ion and becomes sodium. The current produced in this method is so small that it cannot be put to use in practice. But anyway, now it's time for us to leave. But you guys have many more videos of ours to watch and enjoy it. Bye!